Hello, my name is Elliot Gu and I'm the editor of The Energy Strategist. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit uh, about the uh, oil and ga natural gas inventory reports that were released today. Uh, typically the oil reports released on Wednesdays at 10.30 and the natural gas reports released on Thursdays at 10.30, uh, but this week due to the holiday we had them both released uh, today. Uh, what we actually saw were expectations were for a natural gas drawdown of 173 billion cubic feet. That was a median analyst estimate. What we actually got was about 172 billion cubic feet, which is pretty much dead on the estimate. Uh, generally, what we've been seeing with natural gas inventories is that uh, for most of 2007, uh, inventories were well above uh, average uh, and actually were setting new highs for much of the year. Uh, this year, uh, we've actually seen those inventories moderate very, very rapidly. Uh, the primary driver there, of course, is the weather. Uh, we've seen a relatively cold January and actually relatively cold weather across much of the northeast U.S., uh, which is a key consuming area uh, for most of February as well. Uh, and again, we're having another cold snap now, which should drive gas demand going forward. Uh, we're still a little bit above average uh, for this time of year, about 97 uh, uh, billion cubic feet uh, above the five-year average. But to tell you the truth, that's about as close to average as we've been for uh, well over a year now. Uh, and that's been very supportive to natural gas prices. And I actually believe that uh, we could continue to see upside in natural gas uh, and outperformance of natural gas relative to oil uh, at least for the next three or four weeks. And that should uh, support a whole host of uh, natural gas levered stocks. On the oil side, what we actually saw today was uh, expectations for about a 2.3 uh, million barrel build. Uh, what we actually saw was more like 4.2 uh, million barrel build, uh, which is obviously a lot higher build uh, in inventories than had been expected. Uh, that's very bearish for oil prices. Uh, what we've been seeing over the last several weeks is that uh, oil inventory builds uh, which are typical for this time of the year, have actually been building a lot faster than normal, a lot faster than expected. Uh, we've gone from a tight oil supply uh, environment at the end of 2007 uh, to actually about average or maybe even close to getting above average uh, so far this year. Uh, and today's report was really no exception to that. Uh, that is bearish for oil prices. Uh, we've seen oil prices back off today. Uh, I think one of the prime drivers of that, interestingly, is that over the last four weeks, uh, we've actually seen imports of oil into the United States uh, running about half a million barrels a day higher than they were at the same time last year. So we're actually seeing imports in the U.S. Uh, run at a higher than expected level. Uh, even if you, if you listen to OPEC, uh, they said they might even think about cutting uh, oil exports. Well, so far they, they really aren't, and we're actually seeing healthy imports in the U.S. market. Uh, I actually believe that we could see some downside in oil prices uh, over the next three or four, four uh, months, and I do believe that uh, we could see oil prices dip down into the low 80s or even into the 70s. Uh, longer term, I think the situation is quite bullish, but this inventory report is just a, is just a, further, uh, a, a further bearish uh, data point that we've seen over the last several weeks. Uh, on the gasoline and distillate front, uh, motor gasoline inventories uh, were up a little bit less than expected. Uh, however, gasoline inventories are very, very high for this time of year. Uh, so that's relatively bearish, actually, for motor gasoline. Uh, longer term, I do think you'll start to see uh, the refiners cut back on their output of gasoline and that should bring those inventories under control uh, and support gasoline prices a little bit. On the distillate front, they were expecting a drawdown of about 166,000. Uh, what we saw was a drawdown of 4.5 million. Uh, so a much larger drawdown than expected on the distillate front. Distillates would include heating oil and diesel fuel. Uh, heating oil is obviously driven by demand for heating. Uh, and what we're seeing is, again, that colder than average weather for this time of year, uh, driving uh, larger than expected drawdowns in distillate inventories. That is supportive for distillate prices uh, because distillate inventories are actually about average or even a little bit under average for this time of year. Uh, so that is actually also helping the refiners in the sense that um, uh, they're seeing higher prices for heating oil and, and, and distillate uh, sales. Uh, and that should help drive their profit margins going forward. Thank you very much.